Hey guys, Coach Daniel Hammer at Tennis, and in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to get your serve on plane. And so, um, we've talked about the dual planes at Hammer at Tennis, and if you haven't seen the video on the dual planes that we teach at Hammer at Tennis, click on the card now, and that's going to take you back to that video, and then you can come back here, and now you'll better understand the dual planes that we're talking about. And so, a lot of you are still... Um, you know, maybe have questions about the dual planes, but one of the moves that I see that most players do that really kills their serve is that they take their racket back. And I also hear that so much. I hear, take the racket up and then take the racket back. And so I even see coaches, they even tell this, they say to like throw the racket over your shoulder, take the racket this way. But when I'm doing this, notice my racket is swinging in a direction this way. And so if you remember, and so once you watch the um, dual plane video, you understand that the, the racket plane needs to be a, a plane on its edge in line with the target. That is where the racket needs to be to help you hit the ball the most consistently. And so you may wonder, how can I do that in a serve, coach? Um, so one thing that we do and that I teach is that when I'm serving, I keep my racket, I start with my racket out on the right side. As I'm taking the racket back, I take it back over here, this direction. Then the racket is going to move and set in this direction. So my trophy pose is in front of my face. So many of you do a trophy pose and your racket is back. And so what I always ask people is that say you need to take your racket back behind your back or do the back scratch or take it to the back scratch is to just, just try this. Take a ball. Put it behind your back. And then from this position, throw. And you can't throw a ball that way. That's not how you throw. When you throw, you keep the ball out on the right side of your body. And as you turn, your elbow moves forward. You don't take a ball back to throw it. What happens is, is your elbow moves forward, and because your elbow moves forward, it makes the ball seem to go backward in relation to your elbow. Because my elbow is moving forward, my arm is getting kicked backward. I'm not taking the ball backward. And in fact, when it all happens in high speed, my arm doesn't even go back really that much at all. And so I could put something on my arm and still throw. And I can throw that ball without trying nearly as hard. I can throw it better than when I put my arm behind my back. And so when I serve, it's the same thing. My elbow fires up. And because my elbow fires up, think about a lever again. In a lever, when one side does one thing, the other side does the opposite. So if this handle were to go upward, the racket head goes down. See? It's not pivoting on this point and taking the racket head down. What's happening here is the handle is going upward. See, so the handle goes upward, and that makes the racket head appear to go down. But as I'm doing this quickly, notice the racket head doesn't really drop that much compared to its original starting point. It's not pivoting down at this bottom point, like this. So the handle is going upward because the elbow is going upward. So as my elbow goes upward, the racket appears to drop. But what's happening is the elbow is going up. So, if I keep everything on the right, when I do that now, again, notice my shoulders, which again, on my shoulder plane, when I'm serving, now my shoulder plane is aimed more in line with that vertical racket plane. So, as my shoulders go up and my elbow goes up, the racket appears to drop. But again, it's over here on the right. I'm not taking this racket back here, if I can help it. I don't want the racket to go back. Why would I want the racket to go sideways when I'm trying to hit the ball this direction? If I take the racket and keep it in line over here, it's going to make it easier to hit the ball to my target. So I'm going to start with the racket on the right side of my body. I'm going to take the racket back in line with the target. I'm going to bring it up and set it in my trophy position in line with the target. I'm going to rotate now so that my shoulder plane matches up and it get, jumps on to the racket plane. The racket plane jumps into the shoulder plane there and then I'm going to extend up to the ball. I'm going to try to finish out in line with the racket plane. So, everything together works like that.
looks like the racket gets dropped back, but what's happening is I'm setting it here and then my shoulder plane is jumping up in there and that racket is being forced to drop because the elbow is going up. And so I'm here and as, as I'm turning in, it makes the racket appear to go backwards. I'm not taking the racket back. Guys, I'm keeping everything out on the right side. So as you get better at that, instead of taking the racket back this way, you're going to keep everything out on the right. And so work on that to keep all your planes in the line and that's going to help you hit that ball to your target and that's going to help you be more consistent and win more matches. So make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel so that way you get everything from Hammer at Tennis so that you can improve your game so that you are hammering the ball.